the sun shines down on the capital of France, Paris awaits a historic moment in sport. This is a day that we've been waiting for a long time. Now I can say that I do the Tour de France and I think um, that's going to be pretty awesome. Je réalise pas encore que c'est le premier Tour de France femme mais euh... Ouais, la pression va monter au fur et à mesure et ouais, je suis excitée. It's a really special feeling. I've just got butterflies in my stomach and and really just full of joy and anticipation about this this wonderful event. Oh, the feeling is amazing. Everyone's a bit nervous, but more than anything, super excited. We just want to get started. With all the hard work behind them, all the riders come to this race with the best form of their lives, with the strongest teams as they took to the team presentation under the iconic Eiffel Tower welcomed by blue skies and passionate fans who would welcome them on their way. The Champs-Élysées, it's a short stage to start with. Everybody will be excited, so I think it's going to be very tough and uh, very hard to position well, but uh, we're going to try our best and uh, yeah, let's see uh, how it will end. Stage one takes the riders from Paris Tour Eiffel to Paris Champs Elysees, 81.6 kilometers. Starting from the iconic Eiffel Tower, the riders would have a neutral section before making their way to the main part of the lap. 12 laps await them, totaling 81.6 kilometers. forty-four riders took to the start across 24 teams. Ça y est, c'est parti, le Tour de France féminin vient de s'élancer. The race is on and now we start to see the first skirmishes. As soon as the flag dropped, teams were active in trying to force a breakaway. Nina Boisman of Human Powered Health was the first rider to try her luck, but it was short-lived until the next move came along with a large group of riders, most notably Maria Giulia Confonieri of Ceratizip WNT Pro Cycling Team. A dangerous duo of Misha Braderwald and Emily Newsom opened up a gap of 12 seconds. With the duo working well together, the next move came from Morgan Costin of Arkea Pro Cycling, who tried to bridge across to Braderwald and Newsom. On voit que Morgan Costin, qui est bien sorti dans un premier temps, plafonne maintenant. Elle perd même du terrain sur les deux concurrentes de tête. Elle parviendra pas à rentrer sur ce duo. Breakaway has been brought back and now we turn right. We're going to go through the line. We're going to set ourselves up for these first points on offer. As Hannah mentioned earlier, 25 points. Here we go. Voss unleashes. Voss now going for the first point and this is going to be a statement in this race. Mariana Voss takes the points. With 240 professional victories, Mariana Voss of Jumbo Visma opened her account in the Skoda points classification, taking maximum points. In searing hot temperatures of 30 degrees, attacks continued to fly. Riding in a special jersey in dedication to their teammate Amy Peters, Team SD Works amassed at the front of the peloton with 27 and a half kilometers to go. The second intermediate sprint was a strong battle between Maria Giulia Confonieri and Alex Manley, but it was Lotta Capecchi after the work of her teammates who could fight back to take 25 points. Et Copecchi, Copecchi qui euh ouais, sur la ligne a sauté le vélo et passé devant. The battle for the only queen of the mountain point of the day was fiercely contested with 20-year-old Anna Eastland of Unuex striking early. Former Polish champion Marta Lack was unable to close the gap to the acceleration of Eastland. 
Biding her time and being patient, Femke Marcus overhauled her breakaway companions and took maximum points. Number 164, Femke Marcus, and celebrates because she knows how big that is. With 17.6 kilometers to go, Gladys Verhulst of Lakol Wahoo went on a lone pursuit for the stage victory. Oh, big crash. Oh, oui, une chute à, à l'arrière. Christine Majerus and Alana Castrique were caught up in a crash, forcing Castrique of Cofidis to abandon the race. With 7.9 kilometers to go, Verhul's pursuit of taking stage one of La Tour de France Femme avec Swift was looking promising, having a lead of 33 seconds, with the crash disrupting the chase behind. With 2.4 kilometers to go, the French woman was caught by the blue Movistar train. With accelerations out of the final right-hand bend, it was a mass bunch sprint with all the favorites there, Rebis, Balsamo and Capecchi. Just under two hours of racing, Henderson looks around to see who's going to take this sprint. Here goes Mariana Voss. Mariana Voss hits the front really, really early. Voss firing across Lorena Wiebes. Mariana Voss, Lorena Wiebes wins stage one. History is made. The first yellow jersey, Tour de France Avex with Lorena Wiebes. Was there any, ever doubt, any doubt at all that she would take it? <laughs> It's amazing. The team did an amazing job. <laughs> I think I don't realize it yet, but it, I think it will come uh, tonight at the dinner when we uh, will enjoy some uh, nice champagne. What are your plans for tonight? Will you sleep with the jersey? Um, I have to think about that one. Maybe. Uh. Taking the first yellow jersey on the Champs-Élysées, Lorena Wiebes leads the race, ahead of Mariana Voss at four seconds, with Glotta Capecchi at six, Michele Barbieri and the rest of the riders at 10 seconds. Lorena Wiebes also leads the green Skoda points classification, 10 points ahead of Lotta Capecchi and 15 ahead of Mariana Voss. Courtesy of the only Queen of the Mountains point of the day, Femke Marcus leads ahead of Anna Eastland. Courtesy of her sixth place on the stage, Micah van der Doen leads the Young Riders classification ahead of Simone Boylard and Vittoria Guazzini. After her lone escape from the peloton, Gladys Verhulst took the most combative rider. History was made as Lorena Wiebes took the stage on the Champs-Élysées, taking the first yellow jersey of the Tour de France femme of X-Swift.